Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games and today we've got a bit of a different video. This video we're just going to be going over some very important things that I think that most players and even some newer players should be doing or enabling or maybe you know just some tips and tricks just from the port here and just from the menus and the store and all that. Um, a lot of people do not like understand or they don't even know about a lot of these things that i'm going to go into so maybe it might help you out who knows so when you first load up the game this is going to be the street uh, the screen you see right you're going to see your play button and here you can go to your versus ai or you can go to standard battles okay now keep in mind uh something that some of you may not know is in versus ai okay you earn less credits less xp etc okay so you can fight bots, however, keep in mind you're not going to earn as much XP, you're not going to earn as much credits, and if you want to actually grind out a tech tree, even if you are not very good at the game, it, your best bet is to play standard battles against other players, because this is like your best bet. It, it's it's um If you can manage to figure out how to do well in standard battles, it's going to help you out in the long term, okay? Standard battles is what 90% of people are going to be playing in their World of Warships Legends careers. So make sure you guys play standard battles if you guys are going to start playing this game. Maybe for your first few games, obviously, uh, versus, a versus AI is totally fine. Even sometimes I hop into versus AI just to complete some challenges or to test some stuff out. But if you're actually wanting to grind, if you need credits, if you need any of that stuff, um, I do highly... Uh, I do highly suggest, whoopsies, I got my, my mic all screwed up here, but no, 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 like I said, I do highly suggest playing standard battles, okay? It, it will help you out in the long term for sure. Now, next up is in the, is in the um, campaign and missions tab, okay? Now, if you actually do decide you want to spend some money on the game, okay, your best bang for your buck, okay? Literally the best thing you can buy right now in the game is the campaign and missions okay the battle pass right here is the campaign okay now if you are decent at the game and you understand how to actually progress through the battle pass here or the campaign i would suggest picking it up every month for 2000 doubloons okay it's ten dollars for 2500 doubloons that's how much the admiralty backing costs but look at all the rewards you get with admiralty backing you not you not only get a tier 8 ship you get a nice patch, you get a flag, you get a bunch of crates, and keep in mind, those crates have a chance to drop ships, okay, even premium ships, I know. So, if you're a free-to-play player, you can still get some of, these, some of these crates for free, in just the free stuff, but if you uh, decide you want to spend a little bit of money here and there, the campaign is the best bang for your buck. Uh, you get so much rewards, and if you're wondering how to actually progress through the campaign, aka the Battle Pass, you have to complete every single weekly Havoc, okay? So to level up through the Battle Pass, it's 25 of these little Renown points, okay? So each level, it costs 25 Renown. You guys are probably wondering, what the hell is Renown? It's this stuff here. See the little eagle sword symbols? 25 of those equals one level, okay? So if you want to progress one level, you got to get 25 of these Renown points. For example... If I win a battle, I get 25 renown points, and I already did that, so I got one level. If you wanna, if you wanna go up three levels, you need 75 renown points. And right here, obviously, there's a challenge for earning 500,000 credits in tier three through legendary ships, and I did that, and I got 75 renown, which is about three levels of progression in the campaign. Okay, so if you guys really, like I said. Your best bang for your buck is literally buying the campaign. I can't emphasize that enough. Moving on, another thing too is the Bureau, okay? I already have a lot of these projects done, okay? But if you guys are wanting to actually maybe get your hands on some ships, um, or even some premium ships, uh, you guys are going to have ships in here like, for example, the Kaga, the Saipan. You're going to have some ships in here that you can research, and I do highly suggest messing around with the Bureau, linking the ships if you need to, okay? And doing all this stuff, all right? The Bureau is a good way of getting a lot of stuff just by playing the game or linking ships or commanders, okay? So keep an eye on the Bureau. Try to do this stuff every day. Log in and keep that going if you uh, if you would like to. Next up is the store. Now, every single day in World of Warships, Legends anyway, every 24 hours, 
you guys can come over to the offers tab, like right here, for example, every day at 3 a.m. Eastern time, US anyway, um, I think it's 5 a.m. GMT or um, or something like that. But you guys can come in here every single day and collect a daily reward here. Okay, every day you can get a free crate basically. And you can hold A to redeem it. And you can click Y and you can come over to your stuff here. And you can go to your crate and you can open it and uh, you get some goodies out of it. Not Nothing too spectacular. Obviously it's a free container. But... You do get some stuff out of it, like 20,000 credits, you get some flags, etc. Okay, that, that varies every single day. You can get random stuff out of those crates, all right? Now, another thing you can do in the settings is change your presets, okay? This is very important when you are starting out in the game. I do highly suggest using preset 5. Um, turning off collision prevention. This may sound like something that actually helps you, but it really doesn't. Um, I've had a lot of scenarios where when I have collision prevention on, it automatically turns my ship and it messes me up a lot. So I turn that off mainly because I like to have manual control over my ship. And sometimes I actually like to crash into islands to maybe do some tactical beaching or what have you. So turning that off, pretty important. You guys can also adjust your sensitivity and basically how, how fast you turn around or look around and stuff. This does help you out if you want to adjust your sensitivity. That's another thing you can do as well. Now, if you go into the sound tab here, you can turn down your port volume music. If you guys listen to the background, there's the port music. I have this right here. You can also adjust the voice chat. You can adjust the voiceovers. And you can also change the voiceover mod, okay? Now, basically, when you start out the game, you're going to be on common. But I would suggest turning it over to national voiceover. Because what this does is it basically makes it to where all of the nations, for example, if you are in a Japanese ship, your your person that is in your your voiceover in the game is basically going to be speaking Japanese. It adds a little bit more realism. So if I'm in an American ship, my uh, my in-game announcer will basically be American. If I'm in a German ship, my announcer will be German, etc. Okay. So changing this makes it a little bit more realistic and all that jazz. Heading on over to the display, I suggest doing this no matter what player you are, new or not new. Turning on increased HUD size is very very important. Basically, turning this on makes it to where your HUD is a lot bigger in battle. It may sound like it doesn't do a lot, but trust me, turning this on is a game changer. It helps you out a lot. I do highly suggest turning this on. Enable that immediately, okay? It does help you out in the long term. You'll thank me later. And that is about it um, for the uh, setting stuff. Now, one thing too, you can go to customization. If you don't like like the um, the um, the crossover camouflages that are on some of the ships, you can adjust these accordingly. You can turn off the Pregio stuff, Azure Lane stuff, etc., 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 etc. Okay. Now, another good thing to uh, to look into as well when you are in port is going over to your service record. This basically tells you uh, what you've been doing. Okay. Go to your statistics, you guys can like take a look at your service record, and you can basically get an idea of what you've been doing in your World of Warships Legends career, how good you're doing, how bad you're doing, whatever. You can also come over to your patches, and you can change your patch around. Obviously, I've got my lovely, lovely ghost on with my four years aboard base patch. Pretty nice indeed. You can also check out your recent battles right here, and you can come over to your notifications, and you can actually get an idea of what is going on in World of Warships Legends or what's been going on in your game. And the last thing I want to point you guys to in World of Warships Legends is not even in the game itself, okay? Head on over to the store, all right? Head on over to the store on whatever console you're on and search World of Warships Legends, okay? Because, okay, there is a lot of free bundles in the store, all right? If you head down here, for example, right here, there's a free bundle, Jumpstart 5. And basically, if you scroll down the details, in this bundle, you get two days of premium, you get eight Hunter camouflages, eight Type 4 camouflages, you get a bunch of free stuff, okay? Keep an eye out in the store, because sometimes Wargaming does release free stuff, okay? Keep a weary eye out. Just like in here, there's some stuff. There's a lot of things that Wargaming does release. Now, a lot of these do cost money, but sometimes they do release free bundles in the Microsoft slash PlayStation stores. So keep an eye out. Okay, check. I would a good habit to get into is like check every month, and um, yeah, so you never know. They might add some free stuff in here. Okay, so I do highly suggest checking out the store every so often and see if Wargaming releases any free bundles. But nonetheless, I think that covers about everything. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there is anything else that's very important that I missed. I think I covered 
a majority of the major points here. Now, obviously, I know there's another thing um, I didn't mention, and that's the Firepower Deluxe Edition that you guys can buy on Amazon, okay? If you guys are wanting a, um, a very, very good jumpstart to your World of Warships Legends careers, and you're just starting out the game, and you want to buy something as well, another thing you guys can invest in is the Firepower Deluxe Edition. You guys can buy this on Amazon for about $10 to $20, and basically it gives you a bunch of premium ships, a bunch of, a bunch of doubloons, and all this jazz, okay? Now, the Firepower Deluxe Edition, it, it shows a disc, but in the box, okay, in the case of the World of Warships Legends game, there's a code that comes with that game, and that code allows you to get all that free, all the free stuff. So buying the Firepower Deluxe Edition is also another great thing to buy as well if you don't if you didn't already buy a, a copy of that um, on Amazon. It's very, very helpful. It's the best bang for your buck, other than the campaigns, of course. But nonetheless, everybody. I hope y'all might have maybe learned something from this video. If you guys did, make sure to go down there. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment, you know? Tell me what you guys think of this video. Tell me if you learned anything. I'm actually always interested in hearing what you guys have to say. But nonetheless, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always.